Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to Yakuza Like a Dragon. Last time, we did some bonds. We worked on upgrading uh, Kasuga's ultimate weapon. But today, I think it's time to think we can take on anybody. And we're going to go ahead and go to the point of no return. Because we do have a after game that we can do. A lot of the other stuff we're going to do. So I feel like now's a good time. So game... Take it away. Wow, there's a lot to walk in. Didn't see that coming at all. Hold up there. Oh, hi, Boxer. Who's this guy again? Tendo. One of the Omi lieutenants. Yeah. I think I recognize him. From where? What you mumbling to yourself about? Spit it out. While you're at it, why are you here and how'd you even get in? Tendo. Let him through. He's my guest. Your guest, huh? But acting captain, isn't he? Exactly right. The man who took a bullet from my gun straight on. And now here he is, back from hell itself to see the captain released from prison. Yeah? That is real commitment. Well... If he causes any trouble, any at all, it'll be on you to clean up the mess. Agreed? It'll be fine. All right. I'll go back to trying to figure out what the hell is going down here today. Nothing to figure out except the popcorn. So you can watch the shit turn the Omi Alliance on its head. You think? Remember what you did in Eugene Cho? Now it's your turn. Ooh. I feel all three lieutenants are gonna show up against us soon. Oh, I just realized who he is. He used to be a star heavyweight boxer. He's the loony who agreed to fix a fight for money, but when he didn't get paid, he beat the fixers to death. Oh, yeah. I remember that, too. <laughs> what a role model, huh? Yeah, that... okay. Uh-oh. Here we go. Captain, welcome home, sir. What's the Omi Alliance Captain Was What's a family patriarch? Here's the plan. The Omi Alliance was more or less split in half when they marched on Kamurocho. But most of the officers, the ones with tenure anyway, are still here in Sotenbori. Soon, they'll all be gathering in the HQ's banquet hall, celebrating Watase's release. But by then, Watase will already have a document in his breast pocket. The Omi Alliance of Kansai started off as the idea of a few ambitious men more than 100 years ago. In the early days, we were fierce, ready to go to war at any moment. Although we only fought against other factions, we know these wars took a heavy toll on the people here in the city we call home. For that, we are deeply sorry. 
Therefore, on this day, the presiding chairman does declare, and I, Captain Watase, do co-sign this official document which proclaims the Omi Alliance of Kansai is hereby dissolved. Huh? What the fuck? This we pledge to the Osaka PD. What? Why are you doing this, Captain? What are you thinking? I'm Daigo Dojima, sixth chairman of the Tojo clan. Tojo clan? The fuck's he doing here? <laughs> As the Omi Alliance does, so shall we. The Tojo clan is also officially dissolved. Otase-san and I will serve as each other's witnesses as we each end our factions together. This decision was ratified by the Omi chairman, Captain Watase, and acting Captain Masumi Arakawa. Bullshit! What kind of shady crap is this? Really? Is this like that? Did Mitsu tell you that, Ichiban? Oh. Mm-hmm. Wait. Remember now? Yeah, but... I still didn't think the Tojo and Omi would just dissolve at the same time. I know. This is going to send shockwaves through our world, and many will oppose it. Doubtless, someone will try to start a war of succession. But we anticipated that, and built many defenses against it. Defenses? What did you have to do? The sixth chairman planned every last detail. Watase was involved too. He felt the same sorrow as I did about the future of Yakuza life. When we were finally forced to conclude that this is where it will all end. The problem was how do we end the largest Yakuza group in Japan peacefully? We knew that if we simply broke the news to the officers, there would have been mutiny. To make matters worse, Watase had just been thrown behind bars by way of the 3K plan. And with their leader out of sight and out of mind, one wrong move could have started a coup. Right. But then we had the idea to use the Kamurocho 3K plan in our favor. How'd you do that? We came up with two steps to implement. First, ensure the 3K plan succeeded. What the hell? To achieve that, we purposely let Arakawa-san leak the Tojo clan intel. And then Aoki drove the Tojo clan out of Kamurocho, just as we knew he would. He had no idea, of course, that this was our desired outcome. <laughs> Amusing to think that he still considers it his greatest achievement. In reality, the 3K plan only worked because we allowed it to. Apparently. After that, the sixth chairman made his second request of me. I was to keep playing the role of the greedy traitor. Dancing on the Tojo clan's grave. All while bringing the Omi into Kamurocho to take the Tojo clan's place. Arakawa-san's admirable efforts split the Sotenbori Omi horde right down the middle. Which leads us to Sotenbori as you see it now. Half its men stuck in Tokyo. Weakened. Spread too thin. And this was Arakawa-san's goal all along? This exact situation? Yes. And he finished it right on schedule. Watase's day of release is here, and we can make our announcement. What? So we go back and forth. Fuck you, Watase! You're a goddamn traitor! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I made sure this would be nice and sharp for today. I really want to test it out. Any volunteers? <laughs> Damn, seeing these Tojo clan legends fighting is fucking crazy! Yeah, very impressive. These guys are all Omi officers, huh? There are still this many? Even with half of them in Kamurocho? 
If I didn't know any better, I'd say you sound excited. I'm not excited. <laughs> We're gonna march this declaration down to a soccer PD. I know most of you are none too happy about it. So listen up. If you consider yourself real Yakuza, then you have to stop me by force. Good shit. I'm starting to see the big picture, Arakawa-han. Tendo. This kind of brawl. Most of us never live to see one like it. So if we're gonna make history here, you bet your ass I'm gonna take a stand with the side having the most fun. Oh, you on our side? You twisting the knife on us, Tendo? <laughs> I'd much rather fight with you than against you. I'd say we're still looking pretty outnumbered here. That's the whole reason they called us, man. Finally time to step out of the shadows, huh? Look at us. We're about to have the fight of our lives just to get that point across. With the Yakuza legends at our side. Dang, it's a big old. Let's make it one to remember! Oh god! I'll show you how it's done. Watch me. That's a lot of people. Everyone in the mid 40s. Do, uh... Bring it on. Let's go. So let's see how well this is gonna work. <laughs> Fun with this. Just use all the MP we possibly can. Just... Cool. Come on now. You sure you want to get hurt? Ooh, he has a fist the bat. That's it. You're in for it. Rising, uh oh. Yeah. Yeah. He almost one shot at Kasuga. That's a bit of a concern. Thank you. Cool. Watch me. You want to fight? Take this. So, 703 and still has that much. Uh, I'll show you. You're in it now. Fight. Okay. Uh, I'll show you. Okay, so this guy's the problem. Okay. Like, I did not expect him to have so much health. Alright. I didn't expect any levels there. Well. Oh god. So he's finally back. The dragon of Dojima. What?
next Toto Clan fourth chairman? Where's the fifth chair? Wait, what? Otase? How did you find him? Who, him? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. He's just some extra muscle. Some bodyguard I hired. Couldn't even tell you his name. Leave this part to me. You guys worry about the front line. I'll protect the back. Even if it costs me my life. I like you. <laughs> I don't know who you are. You sure know how to make an entrance. Alright. Let's keep fighting, shall we? This feast ain't over till it's over! <sighs> For a mid 40 year old guy, he's pretty ripped. Bring it on. Watch me. Ooh, the fact that a lot of these still have a lot of health, or maybe a little 50 guy. Bring it on. I got this! You wanna fight? <laughs> oh, that was. I mean, I'll put you guys gone. Yeah. You know what? Woman ain't full cast. Oh, just finish him off. I mean, this was. Easy game, easy life. Dang, she almost came to level there. Is that all of them? Nice. We did it. Ah! <laughs> Good luck out there, Kasuga. You're gonna do great. Way. Kasuga? You really didn't even get hit. Hey, Ichi. Arakawa-san. Sorry for not standing up. <laughs> my body's not following my orders right now. Stop trying. You deserve to relax for once. I owe you so much. If you hadn't shown up with all your allies, things might have gone sideways. No, I didn't do anything. It was all my friends doing. <laughs> well, then you have some very good friends. A rare thing. Arakawa-san. I'm very impressed and so happy you've survived all this, Ichi. <laughs> that was cute. Really? So it's just, well, I explains the chapter. We still have two more chapters, though, I think. I mean, wait, wait, hold on. Does this mean you were hiding the sixth chairman this whole time? Yes, that's what I've been telling you. Do you see now? Actually, I'm pretty damn confused. Well, when you have more money than you know what to do with, social connections come naturally. Nick? Even unique connections like sixth chairman Daigoku. We met under strictly professional circumstances, of course. He came to me for help after the Kamurocho 3K plan got underway. Did you hide Majima-san and Saijima-san too? Oh, yes. And can I just say, despite their formidable reputations, they were perfect gentlemen each time I spoke with them. I never thought that you, of all people, would end up rescuing them. Life is so random at times. Well, I wouldn't say I rescued them. I just lent them a little muscle, that's all. 
course, then I got lost in the fun of the fight. <laughs> the fight of a lifetime. You are a Kawa fan, you. Well, you really love him, huh? <laughs> With all my soul. And we're meeting up later today. You can call it a date, I guess. Oh, how romantic. Well, you'll have to dish about it later. Sure thing. Clear your schedule. I can talk about him for days. It's, indie, it's a weird way to end a conversation. Is that it? Oh, nope. I didn't close. I'm sorry to bail on you, Ichi. I know we made our plans first, but... I've known Chairman Hoshino 40 years now. It'd be impolite to turn him down. I get it, boss. Totally get it. When there's a shot at Peking Duck and Hay on Tower, you take it. It was kind of silly of me to invite you to a meal in the first place. I know that. Heh. <laughs> Kasuga. I'm not a boss anymore. Just a regular old man. I don't give a damn who I eat with. <laughs> well, is Sotenbori all quiet now with the Omi Alliance dissolved? People don't know how to react. Not the civilians, and certainly not the Yakuza. The former Yakuza. <laughs> but I guess it's only natural when a hundred-year-old institution just disappears. Any Omi guys rioting or anything? No, even if they did, it wouldn't change anything. Even when they had real strength, they didn't manage to stop us from submitting the papers. And they've only waned since then. Hate to say it, but their reputation's in the toilet. We don't need to dunk their faces in the bowl, too. We'll just let it be. Did you really know it would all happen this way? No, we just did the best we could. And this is how the chips fell. I can't tell the future any more than the next man. Well, you had me fooled. It really seemed like you saw it all coming. <laughs> I'm sure Masato's in a rage right now. <laughs> he must be losing his mind. All his plans hinged on the Omi's support. And I just pulled the rug out from under him. I never could help myself from giving in to his desires if he threw a fit. <sighs> it's been true since he was a toddler. <laughs> I'd always hoped he'd grow out of temper tantrums. <laughs> Some things between a father and son never change. But I can't afford to go easy on him anymore. No? He isn't aware that well before he was governor, the sixth chairman and Watase were considering dissolution. By the time he pressured me to sell out the Tojo clan, all that did was accelerate their plan. <sighs> now Masato knows what growing power tastes like. If I don't stop him before it grows too large for his throat, he'll choke on it. He'll lose everything. Everything he's built. I... I just don't want to see that happen. <clears throat> well... <clears throat> I should get going. Boss! Hmm? Earlier, you said you don't have a title anymore. So, what's your plan from here on out? What are you gonna do? The Sixth Chairman and Watase knew that once their factions were gone, many of their men would lose their way with no Yakuza path to follow. That's happening now. So, they want to find some legal means to take in these wandering souls who have nowhere else to go. I'd like to help them with that task. I see. 
Guess you do have total freedom to do whatever now, huh? Yes. <laughs> and the only thing I'm wondering is how am I going to kill the time? I think this is how every businessman must feel when he retires. <laughs> Free. Was expecting the uh, boat. Well, that being the case, can I go back to being in the Arakawa family? No. Ichi, are you? It's just, when I was working in your family, it was the happiest time of my life. I felt that way ever since you rescued me at 16. I mean it. But how can you still, after I sent you to prison in Masato's place, for 18 years, after lying to you that it was for the family? Well, I accepted that when I went. And then, after all that you did, I shot you. You only did that to give me a chance to keep living. No. All the chances you needed were inside you. Your own strength kept you alive. The truth is, I've never helped you at all. Not even once. You should hate me for all the things I've done. Why don't you? Fine, if you really want to beat yourself up about it. Then please let me back in the family with you. soap land called Shangri-La, weren't you? Yeah. So I've been told. It's a hell of a story. One that's never sat well with me. Huh? I dream about it, you know. You dream about it? Yeah. I dream that it's 40 years ago, on that cold New Year's Eve night. Akan is there, and she's about to give birth to her baby. She gives birth in Shangri-La. In the dream, it's Masato who ends up being born in that soap land. No, oh, come on. This is embarrassing. Nothing to be embarrassed about. You've got a good heart, and you're doing the best you can. It doesn't matter where you were born. Thank you, sir. I'm curious. Did you ever want to find your parents? Uh, good question. I don't really know. At this point, I've gotten pretty used to not knowing them. You've gone through a lot. Not that I have any right to speak to you about it. Well, no point in dwelling on a dream. That's all it is, right? I can go the rest of the way from here. See you tomorrow, Ichi.
Corby's gonna like wait for me assassinated while he's watching. Yo, this is Ichiban Kasuga. I like messages, so leave me one. This is Hoshino of the Serio clan. Kasuga, you need to call me as soon as you get this. This morning, they found Arakawa's body in the ocean. I hate being right. I hate being right. Freak, what did I call that? Guys, yeah, next time on Yakuza Like a Dragon, let's find out what happened to Arakawa. I'll see you then.